là đài truyền hình SPTN Texas. Hi Nhi xin kính chào quý khán giả. Kính thưa quý vị, chương trình của chúng tôi ngày hôm nay xin được gửi đến quý vị chương trình phỏng vấn đặc biệt với ông đạo diễn Ted Coster là đạo diễn của cuốn phim Ride the Thunder và đang chuẩn bị cho ra mắt cuốn phim tài liệu Through Our Eyes để phản đối lại cuốn phim phản chiến Việt Nam World của đạo diễn Ken Burns. Và xin mời quý vị cùng theo dõi buổi phỏng vấn sau đây. Thu Nga và Phan quan trọng của đài SPTN Texas xin kính chào quý khán giả. Thưa quý vị và giống như là chúng tôi đã hứa với quý vị là chúng tôi trở lại để phỏng vấn ông Fred Coster là director của phim Ride the Thunder. Đó là một trong những cái cuốn phim mà nói về cái thực sự của chiến sự chiến đấu hào hùng của quân lực Việt Nam Cộng Hòa. It's the whole Đông Hà. We will fight in Đông Hà. And we will die in Đông Hà. Và bây giờ thì ông rất là bất bình về cái cuốn phim mà Vietnam War của Campbell và Lin Novick. Vì vậy cho nên ông mới sẽ thực hiện cái cuốn phim này. How the world and future generations remember South Vietnam depends on us. We have two choices. The first is for the South Vietnamese to tell their own story. The second is to continue letting people like Ken Burns and John Kerry tell the wrong history of the South Vietnamese people. I think the Vietnamese people hate us, and you can sense this, you can hear it. One of them, I turned to him and I said, what would be the best thing that we could do for you? And he said, go home. And. Uh, I think this is an attitude that does. I turned to one and I said, uh, you know, well, fine, you've got to go in there and fight because it, it's your country. And he said, no. Most of the two million men that you often hear quoted under arms, most of whom are uh, regional popular reconnaissance forces, which is to say a militia, mm. and a very poor militia at that, will simply lay down their arms, if they haven't done so already, and not fight. I can cite many, many instances, sir, when as in combat when these men refused to fight with us when we were taken under fire we americans supposedly fighting with them and pinned down in a ditch and they'd refuse to come in to help us point blank refuse i don't believe they want to fight sir among the many omissions in ken burns 18 hour vietnam war series He refused to tell the story of the millions of Vietnamese refugees, or the 250,000 boat people who died trying to escape, or the one million people imprisoned in re-education camps. Nor did he show the victories and heroism of the South Vietnamese military. Why did Burns refuse to show this broadcast announcing a great South Vietnamese victory? First and simplest, the Viet Cong suffered a military defeat. Its missions proved suicidal. If they intended to stay in the cities as a negotiating point, they failed at that. The Vietnamese army reacted better than even its uh, most ardent supporters had anticipated. There were no defections from its ranks, as the Viet Cong apparently had expected. And uh, the people did not rise to support the Viet Cong, as they also were believed to have expected. There are those who want to rewrite history to say the South Vietnamese wanted communism and that the country of South Vietnam never existed. I think something like 12,000 South Vietnamese soldiers desert every month. Uh, so if they're doing that, they're very successful. But the other side, the National Liberation Front, uh, they know why they're fighting. That's why they've been fighting so well for so long. I mean, it's a people's war. It's a truly a war of the people, by the people, and for the people. Mm. Yeah. It's time for the South Vietnamese to tell their own history. Help us tell the world the truth of the Vietnam War. Và ngày hôm nay thì chúng tôi, anh Phan Quang Trọng, um, welcome to trở lại của ông Fred Costa. Yeah. Hello, Fred. Uh, again, thanks for your time. I mean, I, I know that you're on the road and you are willing to spend time on a beautiful Sunday in Arizona. Instead of with your family, you want to spend time with us. We would like to talk more about the future project you uh, you you try to and your team try to put together to tell the complete truth of vietnam war so uh, uh let's start a little bit about that 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 site and you just stand up called usavn.org what is the purpose of that site uh well uh it's 
it's to tell people a little bit more about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and we just recently launched it and we'll be adding on a lot more information in the future. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is we'll be developing a series of films. The one we're doing right now is the first film. Okay. And it's called Through Our Eyes. Yeah. And uh, to me, what, what's, what's great about it is something that uh, has never been done on a big scale before. Uh, and that is the Vietnam War through the eyes of the South Vietnamese people. Oh, because I, I think other people have told your story. Yes. You right. need to tell your story. Right. And, uh, and I think that's right. so critically important because, as we had talked about before, we can't let people like Ken Burns uh, and, and the media tell your story. Why should they tell your story? You should tell your story. Right. Uh, so um, that's what, and it's called Through Our Eyes. And the, the real emphasis is on you telling your story, uh, but it's also going to be complemented by uh, interviews and, and, and so on of Americans supporting the truth of the war, which is what you're telling us. Uh, and I, it's, and it's critically important. I mean, what the children are learning in school, as you know, is not accurate information. Yeah. And to me, I tell you, I, I get emotional. Um, and I told you before, sometimes when, I, when we're working, I have to get up and walk away because I, I think of what the people had to go through. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm, you, you don't have to imagine, but the American people, you know, families torn apart, you know, people killed. I mean, you know, great people, you know, patriotic people. And it, and it's so sad. So this is uh, called Through Our Eyes. It's your story. You're, you're telling it. Uh, you know, we're putting it together. And also, I want to put an emphasis. It's it, there's a group of us, you know, and, and I happen to be part of that group um, that we're doing it. And uh, like I said, we, we've traveled to a lot of cities now. We've done a lot of interviews, LA, Houston, Dallas, DC. Uh, you know, we're doing more all the time. Uh, and everywhere we go, people are so excited about this project and, and to do it. And now's the time to do it because uh, the people who lived through the war, you know, I mean, they're passing on. Right. And uh, we need to hear from them. And that's yeah. why I'm trying to do as many interviews as we can because we got to capture this. And what we're doing is we have this first film that we're working on and that we will get done, but we're also going to do a series afterwards. So we're creating a library of interviews that we can use for future projects because uh, I, I, I don't, people have to tell their stories. You have to record it. Um, and uh, and, and it's, it's extremely important. Yeah. Um, I tell you the truth. When I, um, I watched the Vietnam War, oh, it did the first one. Um, I gone crazy and I told people if you want to have a high blood pressure you just watch it but I had to watch it so I can you know talk about it and um, you know um, it's so untruth and um, yeah and but I still wonder why uh, media are still they still uh, use the same you know the same way and I like a, a, a John Kerry he said the American soldier went to Vietnam and killed the baby, raped the woman, and uh, all sort of stuff. That's why American soldier, when they came back home, nobody welcomed and they can, you know, the American condemned them. And uh, so, so then, so uh, thưa quý vị và ông uh, Fred Costa, ông muốn làm một cái series, uh, um, uh, phim để mà chống lại cái Vietnam War, tại cái Vietnam War nói toàn là không có đúng cái sự thật. Vì vậy cho nên ông nói rằng chúng ta phải cần phải nói về cái sự thật của chúng yeah. ta. Vì vậy cho nên là ông cái sự cần cái sự giúp đỡ của quý vị thì à, em có thể hỏi yeah. ông điều mình cần cái gì. Yeah. So uh, Fred, I know that the, the first series you call it through our eyes in Vietnamese mean qua ánh mắt của chúng ta uh, and chúng ta you mean the Vietnamese American or the Vietnamese who the South Vietnamese who involved in Vietnam war. So how do you go about to uh, you already mentioned that you visit a number of cities and so what is the plan to uh, you will go to the city where there's a the large population of vietnamese and you how do you look out for those people that uh, well, your show you know as we started out in los angeles doing interviews uh people get excited about what we're doing i've had many people contact me i mean many people yeah. and uh, i i try to get back to everybody some some people i don't but uh, but a lot of it's networking, but I got to tell you, uh, the, the, uh, excitement that we, every city we go to, 
there's great excitement because people are finally realizing that, yes, you can tell your own story and it will be heard on a national level. Uh, and the excitement that we've gotten and the reception that we've gotten so much, uh, cause you know, this started out, this started out as a teaching aid video for the schools. Right. What are yeah. okay. going to do? Yeah. It'll be yeah. a video and then, uh, a teaching aid that will go out to the schools. But the, the excitement we got from the Vietnamese community and also the support, you know, when people say, yes, we want to do that. The project has evolved a little bit bigger. So now, uh, I had to be very careful in saying this, uh, yeah. but we're, we're looking to do a theatrical release. Uh, and uh, so it would be released in the theaters on a limited, uh, limited theatrical basis. Yeah. And that's what our discussion is right now, because uh, with Ride to Thunder, uh, we got great response at the theaters. Uh, and I think that's a great way to initially launch it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but we do have people working on teaching aids uh, that will be you know, supplemented, go out to the schools. So it's a real concerted effort, and and I, and I do want to emphasize that it's it's not just me; it's a group of us. I, I don't, yeah. uh, you know, it's it, it, it's and 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 the group is growing bigger, and I'm so happy to be here today with you guys. And thank you for for wanting to you know pr promote this and, and and help in any way you can. Yeah, vâng, thưa quý vị thì à, mỗi lần mà ông nói về cái um, những cái cuốn sách hay những cái phim tài liệu mà về cái uh, Việt Nam á, thì ông uh, cảm thấy là ông rất là bực bội và ông nói là có khi nhiều khi ông làm việc ông phải đứng lên yeah. mà ông đi chỗ khác khi mà ông đặt tới những cái thứ những uh, cái uh, cái đoạn đó và yeah. vâng thành ra bây giờ đó là ông đang tìm cách mà ông làm cái cuốn phim đó but the important thing is uh, you know like a Vietnam War they spend a uh, long uh, that's what they said long 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 time like uh, 10 years and they spend like millions and millions how do you going to do it uh, if we well I mean how do we get enough money and if we don't get enough money would you still start it or how well we, we've already started um, we've done pre-production uh, we're in production now uh, post-production will start in a couple months uh, so we are doing it and no matter what happens we will have a film there will be a product and of course, the more the more money you have, yeah. uh, the longer the show, the more powerful, and 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 uh, that th there is more to it. Um, yes, Ken Burns had thirty million dollars. That's what was reported wow. yeah. in yeah. ten years. But isn't it amazing? He had ten years and thirty million, and he still couldn't tell the right story. Isn't that amazing? Right. Yeah. You know. And, uh, uh, but yeah, we're not going to rate. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think, we have the greatest ally with us and that's the truth wow now, uh yeah. the media and ken burns they had to spend a long time trying to figure out how to you know uh finagle this thing so they don't tell the truth you know like yeah. what do we leave out you know what do we put in you know and and so on but all i gotta say and i think and, and i apologize for repeating this but you know you asked before why why do people distort the truth about the war? Why do they lie, the outright lie? Why? And I, I, you know, I, I think that's something that we really need further discussion on. All I know is that they're absolutely heartless. Right. And I know with John Kerry, it was simply political. It would help his career. You know, and I think he would have gone either way. If he thought he could get his career by telling the true story, he would have done that. But, you know, he, he gauged where America was and he went that way. But his, it was out, outright lies, uh, and Jane Fonda, outright lies. Yeah. These are heartless people. How can you think of all the suffering that went on, and then you tell lies about them so your career is better? I, right. I mean, I can't even imagine. I, I, you know, I can't imagine what goes on inside their head. It's just heartless. It's absolutely heartless. And, and, and like I said, would, uh, whatever we raise now, you know, we do have a GoFundMe site. We got our website. Uh, the money that is donated uh, is um, uh, is all tax deductible, um, and uh, we're working with uh, a, a few different groups, and it's all going to a nonprofit. Uh, so you know, whatever we raise, we raise. But uh, you know, we do have an initial goal that, that that we'll reach. But if we go beyond that, the film will be even better and longer, yeah. and better. Yeah. And uh, right now, as I mentioned, we've had such a great response that we are ex exploring the ideas of making this a theatrical release and really make a big thing out of it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, make it, you know, where we, 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 we premiere in different cities like we did with Ride to Thunder. 
Wow. Uh, and uh, and also, I think the Vietnamese community, once they see the film, will be even more excited than they were about Ride the Thunder. And I want to make sure that the, the Vietnamese know that Ride the Thunder was only the beginning of television. Yes. Right. So, yeah. There's so much. Yeah, the, the, the main uh, the main thing is uh, how we going to um, introduce uh, to the American uh, oh, yes. uh, yeah community and in the uh, school because uh, just like you said you learn in school whatever totally different until you uh, you yeah you read the write the thunder so that is a main uh, that is a very important how do you we go to uh, you know the, this series to the community of America. Well, I think one thing is uh, we all have to, first of all, we have to work together on this as a group and we all have our, our different you know, parts in it, uh, but it has to be a continuing effort. It can't just, we can't just do one film and say, oh, you know, we're done now. You know, we, we can't, we can't, it has to be a continuing effort. Uh, if, if we go through it and I'll update you when I come down uh, in, in January right. uh, about where we're at with it. But uh, what I would like to do at this point because of, the reaction we've gotten from the Vietnamese community is do a, a limited theatrical run like we did with Ride to Thunder. Uh, we'll concentrate on the Vietnamese communities uh, with the theaters there. And if we get a good response, uh, then we'll go probably on, on a wider thing throughout the country. Right. Uh, but, but what's great about re being released in the theaters is that you have, uh, you, you're better received from Netflix, Amazon Prime, and, and so on like that. Uh, so we have that aspect of it, which we will do. Like I mentioned before, uh, we're we're closing in, I think, or we might be at 900,000 for Amazon Prime with Ride to Thunder. And that's with uh, really no advertising, which just kind of word of mouth. Uh, so we, we can reach a lot of people. Uh, but in conjunction, I just want to make sure our, our first intention with this was a video with the teaching aid that would be given to the schools. And, wow. and, and we do have people working on that who are in the industry. And we can, uh, uh, there's no problem distributing it to the schools. Uh, will the teachers show it? That's a different thing. And I think some teachers will, maybe some teachers won't. Uh, but, you know, the big thing is let, let, let's educate them. Let's, uh, and I think we can be direct with them, uh, you know, simply that, uh, you know, uh, I actually, I'll, I'll tell you more when I, I meet you with you in Dallas, because I have an approach I want to talk that I should probably not say publicly right now, yeah. but privately, let's get together and talk. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and Fred, to me, uh, this kind of uh, historical productions, I think, is critical in to help us to prevent this kind of thing in the future. Because as a world leader, Americans involved in a lot of things going on around the world. So we don't want another second Vietnam. And I think that's engaged to your uh, production with the educator to start to re-engage the educator, re-engage people, the researcher, the historian, to answer this kind of question that we, we puzzle with during Vietnam War. I think it's really critical. So you, talk, you keep talking about a group of people with you to start a project. Can you talk a little bit about your crew? Who oh, yeah. Around? Yes. Uh, well, you know, we're all, uh, there's no Ken Burns here, so there's no <laughs> real big money, but we have some wonder, wonderful people. Um, we have uh, uh, one of the groups that is, is a nonprofit is the VVFH, that's Vietnam Veterans for Factual History. Oh, okay. they're, they're, they're one of the groups we're working with. We're working with a group that's uh, out of the San Francisco area, the IRCC. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a, a, a number of, of individuals that are working with us. Um, and, uh, so it's, uh, it's, it, it's a group. And, uh, if, if you go to our website, you can see, it'll explain everything in there, who's involved uh, as of right now, but it's growing, you know, okay. and, and of course, SBTN, you know, um, it, yeah. It, it's, yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> right. because, yeah, we saw the first show when you have, uh, uh, you know, on the SBTN and uh, with the group of veteran, and uh, you and uh, someone else are supported. So since we saw it on SBTN show on the first beginning, lots of people want, you know, want to support um, your film. Yeah, that's great. And like I said, SBTN has been a, a wonderful, you know, we're all working together. Yeah. And, yeah. Which is great. I think it's good. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. You know, um, it, it, we're we're going to have some challenges, you know, but if we stick together, uh, you know, we will succeed. But, you know, we're at the point right now, no matter what, uh, you know, 
you know, we do need more funding. And I would love yeah. for this to be a regular theatrical release. That's only if we have the funding. But if we don't get the full funding, we will still have a video and a film and, and, and a wonderful thing that will go out. So yeah. no matter what happens. But we do need, uh, at this point, we do need more funding if we want a theatrical and a longer piece for this first film. Yeah, right. let me translate. Vâng thưa quý vị và ông Fred, ông nói rằng cái việc mà ông chiếu phim đó, dù mà có tiền hay không, ông vẫn làm. Nhưng mà dĩ nhiên có tiền thì chúng ta sẽ làm cái nhiều cái series hơn. Tại vì chúng ta không thể làm có một cuốn phim, hai cuốn phim, rồi chúng ta ngừng. Phải không? Yeah. Thì như vậy làm sao mà đi vào cái community của người Mỹ hoặc là trong học đường được. Yeah. Vâng vì vậy cho nên là quý vị nào mà đó nói là quý vị angry với cái Vietnam War mà quý vị muốn giúp để chúng ta nói về cái sự thật của miền Nam Việt Nam và sự chiến đấu anh dũng của quân lực Việt Nam Cộng Hòa thì xin support ông Fred Coster ông đang làm cái cuốn phim tên gì em nói rồi yeah. để cho người ta yeah. thấy vào cái series đầu tiên của ông Fred ông đang làm gọi là Two Our Eyes có nghĩa là qua ánh mắt của người miền Nam Việt Nam yeah. à, giống như chị chưa chị vừa nói đó là đây là một cái người đạo diễn rất là có tài Hi. mà lại muốn giúp uh, người Việt Nam của mình và mình không biết dùng không biết ủng hộ họ thì làm sao tiếng nói của mình được cho cả thế giới hoặc là cả người Mỹ biết được yeah. về chiến tranh Việt Nam? Yeah, and I thank you very much, Fred, because not so many people could see the the truth uh, with you know the the south of Vietnam and um, you know and uh, people tend to listen and uh, listen to the whatever the anti group said and they still do and uh, yeah, just like we just wonder why a uh, Ken Burn uh, didn't show the uh, killing uh, like um, 5,000, more than 5,000 in Hue in tech offense. Yeah, offense yeah. yeah. and uh, with the millions uh, of the Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese people, you know, uh, Vietnamese uh, fled, uh, flee to the country, fled to the country and yeah. die on the sea, die on the jungle, yeah. you know, and the people die in the prisoner, the Vietnam, uh, you know, become um, a prisoner. Right. And uh, he, he, he didn't write about that. And, um, Yes. For so a lot of things like the the North Vietnamese creates what we call the South uh, Vietnamese Front. We call it the Mặt Trận Giải Phóng Việt Nam. Is like they portray to the world that the South Vietnamese revolt against the South Vietnamese government, which is not true. Because as soon as they they invade and they won over Viet, South Vietnam, they kill that uh, movement front or whatever. So this is a true invasion of a country that recognized by the United Nations. You know, this, this, yes. I mean, this, this, this is something that we have to tell the world. But my question is, uh, you start your Two Our Eyes production, will you show it on the USAVN.org or you will release in the theater first? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, with, with theatrical leases, we have to release it through the theaters. Oh, okay. no, yeah. All right. That's, okay. that's number one. They won't show it if, it, if right. it's anywhere else. And then... Then we'll go to secondary, uh, and we'll do Amazon Prime, uh, you know, definitely Amazon Prime, uh, you know, maybe Netflix and so on. Uh, right now, as you know, you brought up something that's very important, is that if we learn from the past, you know, hopefully it will not be repeated in the future. Right. And I, think, uh, I think by educating America about what happened to the South Vietnamese people, it won't happen here. And I think it's really important for us to send that message because, as you know, uh, America is in a very dangerous position right now as, as to everything that's happening, as to where we're going to go in the future. Uh, but people have to understand uh, freedom. And uh, even though uh, you think communism is, is good or something, which a lot of young people unfortunately think, uh, we, we need to educate them that, you know, freedom is more important. You know, I mean, freedom is what it's about. And that's why the South Vietnamese have been able to prosper. And also for a lot of the South Vietnamese people who are watching this, I know a lot of people have lost hope that the truth will ever be told. Right. And I understand that, you know, it's, it's like we're fighting this big giant, but we can fight the giant and we can win because we had the truth. Right. And I, I really think the American people when presented with the truth will understand and it's gonna dawn on them and go, oh my gosh, you know, 200, you know, nowadays, if, if 20 people, refugees die in the ocean going to Europe, it's like big news. It's all, it's all, right. 20 people died in the ocean trying to get to Europe. Right. Yeah. What about 250,000 people who died in the ocean and right. nobody knows it? 
Right. Nobody oh, knows. That's what we got to tell the American. That look at that, and then, the, and, you know, even a, a lot of the American servicemen who served in Vietnam, they didn't know you had re-education camps. Right. Right. You right. know, they didn't know that there were sixty thousand people executed. You know, after the fall of Saigon, sixty thousand. You know, right. and I'm sure these are conservative es uh, estimates. Right. And and this is what to the American people, if they are told this. They they will understand it, and and I I know that I, they, they'll understand it. But we have to present it to them in the right way, and, and and we have to be blunt and say, look, you're not being told the truth. Right. And uh, you know sometimes we can't be polite. Right. You know if someone's lying about something as bad as this, we got to tell them, hey, Ken Burns, guess what? He didn't tell the truth. All the media outlets, they're not telling the truth. Right. Why, why they aren't, you know, we should talk about, you know, and I'm sure there's many reasons. And I'm sorry, I, I, I know I'm going on. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we've That's got wonderful. an emotional to yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. American um, uh, um, should know the truth of Vietnamese, uh, you know, uh, about the um, South of Vietnamese, um, Vietnamese um, um, truth side yeah. to, uh, to our... To our eyes, to uh, our view. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cho nên là để quý vị thấy rằng cái sự thật ở trong cái 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 cái, cái con mắt của mọi người. Tại vì ông ông rất là bực dọc khi mà ông nói về ông Ken Burns. Tại sao ông phải nói láo? Why he what why, why he had to uh, to lie about that? And a lot of uh, American believe that. And they um, they didn't know about the education uh, camp. Yeah. They didn't know the nine, year 1954, a million people fled from the uh, north to the south. And uh, why uh, 1975, they sacrificed their lives, you know, to die on the ocean to uh, search for freedom, you know, something like that. Yeah. So, uh, um, again, we thank you very much for your, yeah. for your thought and yeah. your work. Oh, I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fred. And I, I, I suggest that you will visit Dallas in uh, hopefully in January. It depends yes. on you. Maybe uh, in the future interview with you before you arrive in Dallas, we can talk a little bit about your plan to visit the city and how the Vietnamese community here in Dallas can help you, yes. can help your crew to tell our own story. You know, so maybe at the next show, we can talk more about your... Uh, yes. What you plan? What's your plan to visit Dallas for, and who you want to meet? You know. Oh, what? I think that 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 would be great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and uh, and again, thank you very much for your thoughtfulness and your kindness and uh, your uh, work. You know everything, and thank you very much because it's just like I said, not so many people like you understanding. You know your understanding, and um, thank you. And I want to make sure everyone knows we are going to make a difference. We are yes. going to do it. We, yeah, we will make the difference. Yes. I, I really like the way you said earlier that even though we don't have a lot of resource, but we have the truth. Yes. And that's, I think, is very powerful to remember. And yes. Yes, sir. Thank yes. you very much. For thank that. you. Boy, thank you so much for your invitation to be on your show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. How the world and future generations remember South Vietnam depends on us. We have two choices. The first is for the South Vietnamese to tell their own story. The second is to continue letting people like Ken Burns and John Kerry tell the wrong history of the South Vietnamese people. I think the Vietnamese people hate us, and you can sense this, you can hear it. One of them, I turned to him and I said, what would be the best thing that we could do for you? And he said, go home. And. Uh, I think this is an attitude that does. I turned to one and I said, uh, you know, well, fine, you've got to go in there and fight because it, it's your country. And he said, no. Most of the two million men that you often hear quoted under arms, most of whom are uh, regional popular reconnaissance forces, which is to say a militia, mm. and a very poor militia at that, will simply lay down their arms, if they haven't done so already, and not fight. I can cite many, many instances, sir, when, as in combat, when these men refuse to fight with us, 
when we were taken under fire, we Americans supposedly fighting with them and pinned down in a ditch and they'd refuse to come in to help us. Point blank refuse. I don't believe they want to fight, sir. Among the many omissions in Ken Burns' 18-hour Vietnam War series, he refused to tell the story of the millions of Vietnamese refugees, or the 250,000 boat people who died trying to escape, or the one million people imprisoned in re-education camps. Nor did he show the victories and heroism of the South Vietnamese military. Why did Burns refuse to show this broadcast announcing a great South Vietnamese victory? First and simplest, the Viet Cong suffered a military defeat. Its missions proved suicidal. If they intended to stay in the cities as a negotiating point, they failed at that. The Vietnamese army reacted better than even its most ardent supporters had anticipated. There were no defections from its ranks, as the Viet Cong apparently had expected. And the people did not rise to support the Viet Cong, as they also were believed to have expected. There are those who want to rewrite history to say the South Vietnamese wanted communism and that the country of South Vietnam never existed. I think something like 12,000 South Vietnamese soldiers desert every month. Uh, so if they're doing that, they're very successful. But the other side, the National Liberation Front, uh, they know why they're fighting. That's why they've been fighting so well for so long. I mean, it's a people's war. It's a truly a war of the people, by the people, and for the people. Mm. You know. It's time for the South Vietnamese to tell their own history. Help us tell the world the truth of the Vietnam War.